know, at some time or another, all of us experience different degrees of anxiety, unease, from the general unease in our gut to the full-blown panic attack. To say the least, none of it's enjoyable. We don't like it. With this said, it's important to know that we create this unease and we do have total control over it. This emotional energy, whether perceived as negative or positive, is summed up from our underlying thoughts, thoughts that are focused on the future rather than the present moment. And when our focus is out there in the future, off the present, there will always be a certain amount of uncertainty as we don't have a crystal ball looking into the future. When this uncertainty is scary, it leaves us with this anxiety gap in which we lose control. We don't like to lose control. So we allow our mind to continue to leave the present moment and replay this uncomfortable thought thinking about somehow this will be productive and bring us back into control. Well, how's that working out? You know what happens next, the continual thought becomes habitual as it forms a neuronal pathway in our brains. The uncomfortable thought dominates our life. Here's the good news. You created it, you can extinguish it because these thoughts can go as quickly as you do create them, if you're willing. So let me give you seven steps to start the process of reprogramming your mind and getting the right thoughts to come out. Number one, recognize you can only live in the now and therefore need to keep your mind in the present moment. Keep pulling it back. Number two, catch yourself whenever the mind drifts and the critical self chatter starts up with these negative thoughts. Number three, ask yourself, is this chatter, this fearful thought you're having 100% true? Is it the negative outcome I'm worried about really going to happen? Number four, is there any benefit to my future and my sanity to continue holding on to this thought? Number five, if, you, if, if not, are you willing to let it go? Let go and bring your mind back to the present moment. Number six, is it more beneficial to focus on solutions to prevent a negative outcome? Number seven, bring your focus and thoughts on actions that can be taken now rather than simply freezing up and falling deeper into the despair. Thinking consciously and being aware of your thoughts is not easy. It takes work and it can be uncomfortable. The more you discipline yourself to take control of your thoughts, the easier it becomes and in time the anxiousness will dissipate and you'll have gained an understanding of how to live in the present moment. Stop worrying about outcomes and start enjoying what you're doing now. When all we think about is some future place, the experience of enjoying the now is sacrifice is simply a means to an end. I like to begin my day with a few certainties. I'm certain I'll have a great day and be at peace no matter what the circumstance. I'm certain I'll enjoy holding my thoughts in the present moment. I'm certain I'll be spot on at my talk and will compel the majority of my audience to move forward and take action. I'm certain I'll take the appropriate actions to further address X. Start your day by pre-programming your mind. Create new neuronal pathways to serve your best interests. Try a few of your own certainties and notice how you feel and then continue on on a regular basis until you begin to change those thoughts.